Yeah, Tony and Taylor, you know, it's not unusual for me to be doing stories about how uh, teachers are getting creative to try and find ways to inspire their students and also get them to learn real world applications for what they're learning in class. Well, what a math teacher did here, well, he says it pretty much exceeded his earthly expectations. Let me take you through it. Take a look. Uh, we're talking about Mr. Giamona's math class, and he reached out to Intel last year to see if experts there would volunteer to mentor his students in designing and creating a Mars Rover computer game simulation. To make it a little more interesting, he turned it into the first ever Mars Rover exploration contest between his math teams. The idea was to push the kids in his class out of their comfort zone from just solving math equations and instead force them to work with real life engineers and experts to apply their math skills to real world applications. I thought it was more fun. I feel like I got a lot more out of it. Like, I'll, it's, I'll definitely remember this experience in the future. Way better than just listening to a teacher talk yeah, all day long. It's way better than just, like, I'm not just falling asleep in class. So I'm like actually actively doing something. And that, of course, is the whole point, inspiring kids to be engaged and to learn. And as the uh, teacher here, Mr. Giamona, told me, this is something the students are going to take with them for the rest of their lives because it means they succeeded in a challenge that they all admit was very hard and very stressful at the beginning because they had no idea what they were doing. But they say in working with those real-world experts from Intel, they really do, did feel a little bit like mini NASA engineers. The next step now is for the top teams to all give their presentations tomorrow before those in, uh, Intel experts to find out which math team will come out on top. Live at Granite Oaks Middle School this morning, Mike Tassell, KCR Ray 3 News.